I'm here in New York City chatting with Laura Albert, AKA JT Leroy. Tell me, who is JT Leroy? JT Leroy is my pseudonym. And for a long time, he was for me my avatar. He felt very trapped in my body. For me, it was a relief being able to find um, a body where he could rest and I was able to move within into my own body. It's very, very complex and I don't know that I understand it all. Artists through history have done that from Andy Warhol used to send other people out to give his speeches. I mean Duchamp, you know, Rose La Vie and I just think that um, there was an outcry because the, the mainstream press instructed people that something had been taken from them. David Milch said to me, if you sneak past the keepers of the gate, the bastions of hip, they will sting with the fury of wasps. I snuck past them. It's like the people who say, I will recognize the next Warhol. I will be, well, what if Warhol was a African-American uh, overweight woman? They would not be available to that. My goal through my work was to invite compassion. Creating the book Sarah was just like, what if the what you aspired to be what it, is what is feared the most? So Sarah is very magical. It's like a, a Alice in Wonderland fairy tale, but it's dealing with new archetypes that haven't been seen before. Do you feel like society's treatment towards transgendered individuals and especially the media's portrayal has improved over the years. We're so afraid of what we don't know the other, right? And the more, you, with television, it welcomes it in. I remember Ellen DeGeneres. Everyone knew she was a lesbian, right? Not everyone, but Those people. people who knew. Yeah. She had to trust that it would be okay. But it's phenomenally useful when somebody can experience that they can be themselves they don't have to lose their career and their life. That's what's important about anyone that goes against marketable images and, and claims their humanity, you know? Are there any upcoming projects of yours that we should know about? There's a lot of stuff I've done under different names like that people don't know about and they find out. Like I did recordings for with Japanther, the band, and I just recently someone, was that you? And it's like, yeah. <laughs> So there's little things that are planted out there, but... So um, we basically can't keep keep up with you. Every time you're going you're gonna to change to something else, we really don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. That takes a lot of energy, but I'm, I'm down with that. Thank you so much. This has been great. I am such a massive part of that for you.